Hi, my name is Jared, and I'm a technical support engineer here at Hawkridge Systems. This video covers the process of how to reconstruct your SolidWorks PCB project document structure in a newer version of SolidWorks PCB. A few different conditions apply for performing this process. Number one, if PCB services has been upgraded or uninstalled and reinstalled to a newer version. Number two, if SOLIDWORKS PCB was uninstalled and reinstalled on a client machine to a newer version, or if you would like to specify the location of your project folder other than the default location in a newer version. In order to begin the process, we'll go ahead and bring up SOLIDWORKS PCB 2018 as our newer version. And we'll be using files from SOLIDWORKS PCB 2017 as our older version in this example. We first need to create a new project. I recommend using a similar or perhaps the same name as your older version project with a unique identifier for the specific version. Another thing to note would be your repository if you are using more than one repository, as well as the location at which the project is generated. By default, all versions of SOLIDWORKS PCB will default to the C drive, users, public, documents, SOLIDWORKS, SOLIDWORKS PCB year version folder location. If you would like to specify a different location or a folder within the year version, simply navigate to it, select, and as you can see, we are now going to be creating this new project in the projects folder of the 2018 default location. Go ahead and say OK. And you can see we now have a new project created. However, we have no documents added to the project. In order to do so, to right click on the project itself, add existing to project. And as you can see, I've already made some shortcuts for my different year versions of SOLIDWORKS PCB. My original files are going to be located in the PCB root folder projects in order to add them we can simply multi select the files or documents that we want to add to the project and say okay now as you'll notice we get a small black arrow within a box addition to our icons here and that means that they are saved in a different location other than the PCB 2018 default location. In order to remedy this situation we first need to open up each document once the documents are displayed in the UI can then right click, save as, and now navigate to our newer version root location. Again, this would be the default location. We would like to go into specifically our new project specific to 2018 folder. You can do so at this time by navigating to that location and save. This would need to be performed on each document that you add in order to ensure all added documents go to the correct location. Again, verifying your default year version is very important so that you put the right files in the right places. As you can see, Saving both of those removed the addition to these icons. However, we now need to recommit our project in order to 
push the project to PCB services. To do so, project, commit project, yes to the save. As you can see, we're the, then presented with a dialog where you can check off or deselect the documents you've added. My recommendation would be to have everything selected. That way, all of your added documents are committed. After saying OK, we now receive the green checks. No addition to our icons. We can then go to PCB services. Here is our original project. And now you can see we have a new project. I hope this video has been helpful outlining the process of how to reconstruct your SolidWorks PCB project document structure in a newer version of SolidWorks PCB. Thank you for watching and please feel free to subscribe to our YouTube channel and visit our website at www.hawkridgesys.com for more knowledge-based material.